thousands of you came out and saw the Through Night TC20 video where we actually did a more organic review where we just tried to do like a walk and talk. Just kind of use this out and about in the nighttime, go for a walk, and just kind of see how it is with people naturally using a flashlight. Now, this thing was rocking it, kicking it at 3,800 lumens, banging out a huge 5,000 milliamp battery until its very first drop test. Well, Through Night responded and said that should not have happened, so they sent the Challenger. Has it improved, or is it does it still suck? Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for sticking with me. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the replacement through Night TC20 and seeing if it actually has got the goods. Now, as you guys can see, we weren't really easy on this thing. We took it out in some nasty weather and we wanted to field test this again. As you guys saw, like I said in the very beginning in the intro and you saw in the last video, this poor thing just kind of had a rough day. And it did something that I was shocked with. Under the one and a half meter drop test that these things are rated for, it actually cracked the lens. Now the internals actually still work, and that was kind of surprising. That was actually a good sign. That means the circuitry that are inside, built inside the system, is doing a really good job. They made it designed to be a very robust system, and technically it's supposed to be an anti-vibration ring inside the lens, and it provides some additional waterproofing. As you can see, the circuitry on that is still intact. However, it is no longer waterproof because of the seal breakage from the glass breaking. So they sent out the replacement through night being the awesome people that they are because they told us flat out that shouldn't have happened. So we took this bad boy out went for another walk and it was still doing awesome. As you guys saw from the last video, we did some amazing beam shots with our buddy on his property. He's got 190 acres out there and it was doing some awesome stuff reflecting off the water, bouncing off trees, 75, 100 yards out and all the way up to when we we're on a really empty irrigated 10 acre plot of land where he's going to be doing some farming later this year it just shined up that whole freaking thing it was hard to see on camera but oh dear lord it, this thing is a super big searchlight and that's actually what this flashlight's designed to do it's not designed to be some ultra tactical flashlight it's pretty bulky and heavy but the promise for these types of flashlights, the fact that they're rocking mega powerhouses in these XHP70 LEDs, rocking 3800 lumens, they're designed to, they're, they're wanting to take the searchlight, the search and rescue light, the spotlights for hunters, farmers, SAR teams, things like that, and really put them down in a portable package that people can carry around and use for an extended amount of time without wearing themselves down. So you could use this in a survival situation and have a huge mega pack light, but these aren't really, designed to be like that. If you want kind of a tactical light and a survival light, you're gonna be jumping into smaller flashlights with single 18650s with very similar designs. These are more like you put them in your truck, you put them in a toolbox, you put them in your search and rescue bag if you're SAR certified. Because of their really long beam distance and their really nice big flood and spill, you're gonna be able to see a lot of things within 75 to 100 yards of you very, very, very clearly. Not much is gonna miss your gaze when that thing is blurring out at the 3800 lumens. So with that said, we went back outside and I mean, I guess I'll just kind of cut to the clip and let you guys see what happened. All right, so we're out here again with the TC20 by Through Night. We've got it rocking on high. This bad boy is still as impressive as the last time. This thing is absolutely amazing. I know you guys are seeing some of the beam shots from earlier, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this to my wife and she's gonna go ahead and do the drop tests and see if the new one actually passes as it's supposed to. Okay, that was the first drop. Doing pretty good. We're gonna do two more, just for good measure. <laughs> so, so far it's still on. Looking like it's doing pretty good. Uno mas. Whoop. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, yeah. so it looked like it's, I'm sure the shock. So yeah, it's a little muddy. Um, I'm gonna go brush it off real quick. And as you guys can see, it's a little scuffed up in some places, not too bad. 
but it did survive the drops just fine. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the proof is literally in the pudding. This thing took a little bit of scuff marks, a little bit of wear and tear on it, but all in all, the anti-vibration ring did it to dial how it was supposed to. And that goes to show you that's why a lot of these flashlights come with warranties, but additionally tells you why we do all the testing that we do because we never know, even with premium brands like Olight, Throughnight, WowTac, Phoenix, Nightcore, all those goodies, you never know if flashlight's gonna pass and fail. And realistically, if you have a company that's typically really good with their warranties, this might be a good idea. Once you get a flashlight, just kind of raise it up a show love and drop it on concrete. Just kind of do that. And some people are like, that's ridiculous, I'd never do that. Well, here's my argument, ding dong. Nowadays, what are they building that is waterproof and very highly drop resistant nowadays? Can anybody answer the question? Ding, 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 ding. Cell phones, holy crap. Have you seen how tough some cell phones have been getting? Cell phone companies are just sick and freaking tired of handing out and replacing all these phones and dealing with all these warranties and the insurance and all that crap with phones that were getting wet, they were being dropped, the screens are cracking, all this crap was failing. They decided to start making cell phones tougher and cell phones are not survival equipment. They're day-to-day -day stuff that everyone's got. So if they're making those drop resistant where you can drop those five, 10, 12 times with all the new high tech glass that Samsung Apple's creating and they're making them basically sealed and waterproof where you can drop them in the water, the toilet, the pool, doesn't really matter and take some pretty cool shots. Why can't we expect flashlights and similar high tech electronics geared towards survival channels to do the exact same thing, if not better? So with that said, am I really that crazy to have these kind of expectations for outdoor equipment? With that said, I'm very happy to report, like I said, the through night TC20 is an awesome freaking spotlight. Like I said, when you guys saw the very first video, I was super, super stoked. It had really thick bezels. We liked the orange pure reflector. It had a lot of good throw on it. Super crazy power. We love the amped up power supply from the 26650 battery over some of the other older models from last year with that we're using the same battery technology. And it's really good to see that these mega house power flashlights are really starting to shrink down in size and just be much more pocket friendly, pack friendly, truck friendly without just taking up so much space and being $700, you're able to get almost 4,000 lumens, which was unheard of two years ago for under like 200 bucks. Now you can get it for like 80 bucks. The winner of yesterday's Amazon gift card giveaway is Jerry Garcia. Congratulations, Jerry Garcia. You're the winner. So definitely contact us at the back in our channel so we can get your contact details. So in conclusion, what I can take away from this particular flashlight is any production item can fail. And we showed that, but through and I did have some pretty high integrity and they did send us a replacement to retest for you guys because they were very adamant that this particular flashlight should not have failed. So what I could tell you is even though through night, Olight and all the other companies may not like it, when you buy your flashlight, get it in the mail, you test it, just, I mean, pick it up a shoulder height and drop it once. If it doesn't fail, you're probably gonna be good to go. But that's just about it for now. And if you enjoyed the retest of the through night TC20, give this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media network so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that's just about it for now. Hope you guys have a suit. Wonderful day. I'm out.